Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Kevin with SurvivalSports.com. Today we're going to be looking at how to build an easy window for the chicken house. We've got the chicken house here. Winter's coming in and we need to put some windows on here to keep the wind off the chickens. During the summertime, it's okay. We've got these windows in here. That's the... Uh, box my wife and I built for broody hens. So whenever we get some hens that are wanting to sit on eggs, we're going to put a divider in there. So that's what that's for. Got the perch up here I'm still working on. Got the window. Just regular. Sorry if this isn't going to be... There we go. Yellow pine. Pressure treated. Pressure treated. Yellow pine. Pressure treated pressure treated. The wall studs are 24 inch centers. So what I did is I came in here and screwed in some pressure treated 2x4s to act as a moisture barrier between any wind that may blow in here and the regular yellow pine. So rain, moisture blows in here. It'll go to pressure treated instead of the wall studs. Once we had the inside framed in, there's the pressure treated 2x4s on the inside. We took a drill bit. I think I used a half inch or 5 eighths drill bit, just a big paddle bit, from the inside and bored a hole outwards. There, there, there. Came on the outside. Used a level for a straight edge, just a straight edge, and marked the outside of the holes. Just like that. And then I set my saw on about five eighths of an inch thick. Came in here, ripped that out, ripped the lines, popped it out. Then used my hardware cloth and let it. This is half inch hardware cloth, so that's a half inch, one inch, inch and a half. Let it overlap. Use these galvanized hot dip galvanized staples. Now that it's overlapped, you see how far it goes into the board so you could even let it go say another inch or so so all we're doing is just letting giving this some window some push so nothing can like push through it or chew through it whatever anyway notice this screw here is a little bigger a little bit bigger a little bit bigger than the other ones because this goes all the way through the hinge through the one by four through the wall this uh, outside exterior board all the way into the two by four on the inside for 24 inch center studs you're going to need a one by ten here. This is nine and a half inches, nine and three quarter from here to here. And then when you put your you put your hinges on here. See, three inch long screw, two and a half inch long screw goes through through here, through the hinge, through the one by four, through the wall board into the stud. Then I put one here, goes into the stud of the building. One, two, three. Then what we're going to do is take and cut a one by four pressure treated one by four in order to go from here across the top to here this is what it looks like finished i know the top of the chicken house looks kind of tacky not being painted but i'm working on it i'm working on it I had the grandkids out here earlier today kind of painting around the bottom need to get the uh, dirt washed off or wiped off and put a nice thick coat of paint on the bottom this is what it looks like finished we need to paint this need to put a Thick layer bead of paint up here so that if any rain blows up here and it goes down, it'll hit that paint instead of going behind there. Use these, what are these? I think these are two and a half inch screws. Went through here, through the wire, into the two by four. Notice the board here overlaps the inside by a half inch. So whenever you close it, you get that barrier there so whenever wind comes in during the winter time it comes in and then hits right here it's not straight in and that's what it looks like whenever it's closed I'm gonna take and put another one right over there whenever I finish painting the top part finish painting the, the window make it blend right in all right guys and girls that's how to build a quick and easy window on your chicken house without spending a small fortune on aluminum and glass windows and I will talk to y'all later